If you're struggling with calendar views inside of Airtable, then you are going to love this interview with Camille Parks. In this episode, Ali, our internal interviewer and professional Airtable consultant, is sitting down with Camille Parks, the creator of Chameleonaire Apps. Camille is an incredible asset to the Airtable community at large, and she has recently built out her own store where you can start accessing the apps that she's built exclusively for her members and made them available inside the Airtable Apps Marketplace. It is a really cool new addition and it's really valuable to see incredible coders like Camille building tools that we all need. In this episode, Ali's going to be talking to her about how she got into this and why she built this app that's going to help you with Master Calendar. But before we get into it, I do want to point out that this video is an abridged edited version for YouTube. If you want to check out the full hour-long interview, it is made available to our mastermind group. So you'll need to join our mastermind group to get the full version. You can go ahead and click the link that I've shared below if you want to get access to that. If not, I hope you get a ton of value even from this edited version and you do go and check out Camille's products because she's built some really cool stuff that helps all of us do more with Airtable. All right. I am here with Camille Parks. Thank you so much for joining us today. Of course. Nice to be here. Excited to have you. I'm excited mm -hmm. to talk more with you about Master Calendar and all the great apps that you've put out into the universe, I guess, pun intended. But mm -hmm. <laughs> um, And you've been a fixture in the Airtable community for a few years at least. Um, and how did you get started in that area? Who, who remembers? I don't know. Uh, I uh, first needed Airtable for a research project I was doing for grad school, and um, I fell down the rabbit hole, and then I've just been using Airtable for, you know, random things um, over the years, and then uh, I found the community forums and just started answering a whole bunch of questions um, and stuck there, and then Built on Air happened, which I'm sure you're familiar with. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, Airtable slowly but surely has been taking over my life since uh, 2018 or so. Same. I feel like we have pretty similar stories in that regard. It's yep. Kind of funny. Excellent. And so since you found Airtable, you started uh, diving into the world of development. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. uh, it is. Um, I used to way, way back when I used to do um, web design, uh, but that's a completely different type of coding. That's like HTML and like PHP and coding for Airtable is all JavaScript. So um, it was a little bit of a learning curve, but uh, I don't know, it was fun to learn. So I started um, the development kind of side in, I think it was 2020, late 2019, 2020 was like the explosion of coding tools for Airtable, the scripting block and the custom apps kind of environment. And 2020, they had a hackathon um, where people could submit their projects for it. And I participated and I was one of the winners, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then from then on, I just had, um, you know, a list of ideas of things that I could build and I've been in my, you know, downtime working on building those projects out. That's super cool. And so your first one was the scheduler app, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. So scheduler uh, was the one that was, I submitted two for the contest schedulers, the one that was um, selected and that's currently in the marketplace now. And my actual first idea I had for the contest was master calendar. And I got, like 70% of the way there and then realized that the infrastructure, if you will, of Master Calendar is insane. And it was just not, I wasn't going to meet the deadline uh, and getting a product that I knew was like 100% of the way there. So it's been kind of on hold ever since like last March when the, uh, when the contest was released. Um, but I've had the idea for Master Calendar for like over a year. 
if you have multiple tables with dates in them, you'd show them all on one calendar. But, you know, thinking through, will people need uh, everything to be color coded? Do things have to, you know, only one color per uh, table? Do I enforce that? These, these were a whole bunch of questions that I kind of had to ask myself, which is why it took so long to release. I have gotten a few uh, requests from the people who do use it. So I don't know their larger use case, but, you know, someone um, requested showing more of uh, events in the month view um, before I like capped it at uh, a number like three events or something like that. And they're like, can we bump that up? And I did. And then someone else asked for like a legend because you might have a billion different colors. And so I added that. So um, I am receiving um, feedback in that regard. And um, I've made those for the people listening. I've made those changes. <laughs> They've been released. Um, I'm waiting for Airtable's review team to, you know, do the check mark and then everyone should have it. Um, I'm also looking forward to digging into master calendar if you want to demo. Yeah. Um, okay. So right now we're just looking at uh, my website for Chameleon apps um, where you can find master calendar and it'll give you a few images. I break down what you can do in the free version and the premium version. Um, uh, I wanted to make sure it at least had some value for people who didn't want an ongoing subscription with me. So um, if you don't have an active subscription, you can still look at up to two different tables records on a calendar at once. You just won't be able to edit those records. But if you do have a subscription with me, you can look at any number of tables. I recommend you, you know, keep it slim if you have like 30 tables, the app's just going to run slow, but you could look at any number of, of tables all on one calendar um, and you'll be able to edit records as well. Just kind of jumping in, um, the base I use to uh, showcase master calendar is just a um, modified version of a template that Airtable provides for um, content management and um, you know, so social media marketing. Um, so there is um, a table for the types of like articles um, someone might write and then another table for um, posting about those articles on Facebook or on Instagram, et cetera. And all of these have different deadlines um, and you might want to show, um, you know, all of those deadlines in one place in relation to the thing that they're a deadline for. Um, there's another, uh, simple table for um, putting in uh, timesheets. And then I just made this other one that has a bunch of date fields to show that um, it's not only um, regular date and date time fields, but you can show created uh, time slash date fields as well as uh, calculated uh, date fields um, from like a formula uh, or a roll up. Uh, so uh, if I expand master calendar out, um, it looks just kind of like a calendar, really. Um, so uh, if I go into the settings, you can kind of see what's going on here, where I have what I call feeds. Each feed is a collection of records. So it's not necessarily each feed is a different table. You'll see that my first two feeds are both pulling from the table content production, but one is looking at the draft uh, date and one is looking at the published date. So uh, that allows me to set a different color for each of those two dates so I can, you know, uh, remember in my head which one they are. Um, I have another one pulling from the social schedule table. And then if I scroll down, you'll see that I have um, my other two tables being pulled in as their own different feeds. Um, most of these don't have an end field assigned to them because they're just kind of like, it doesn't matter exactly. Uh, it's not a an event where it spans a, a period of time. But for my fourth feed, I do have an end field um, put in and you'll see what that diff what difference that makes uh, when we jump into the actual calendar view. Um, so now if I get out of my settings and look at the sidebar, because this is kind of new and it may or may not have released yet into the marketplace, there is now like a, a more compact a um, legend in the side. If you have the sidebar collapsed, if you forgot what blue meant, um, you could just roll your mouse over and it'll remind you that it's um, from the content drafts feed. 
and then all of these as well. If you click on them, you can pick one of those records from that feed. Uh, if we go into, go ahead. I just said that's super slick. Uh, yeah, that was a suggestion that someone made, I think like last week. Um, so it, it, for anyone who has Master Calendar who, or who doesn't have Master Calendar and if you have an idea for it, um, I might be able to add whatever it is you suggest as long as it's, you know, not crazy. <laughs> I don't want to back myself into a corner, but so far people have suggested things that, you know, make total sense. So uh, I've, I've done my best to accommodate them as they come along. Um, where, where can people go to learn more about you and Master Calendar? Well, I'm realizing that it might be difficult to spell my company name on first try, <laughs> but <laughs> Chameleon Air Apps, uh, K-A-M-I-L-L-I-O-N-A-I-R-E -L -L Apps. Love it. I, I know why I named it Chameleon Air Apps, but I realize now that it might be difficult for other people. So, I'll, you know, I'll provide a link. Um, but Master Calendar is available in the marketplace. So um, if you're in an Airtable base and you do have a pro subscription or an enterprise subscription, um, you'll just go into all apps and um, scroll down until you hit Master Calendar, which is here. Okay. So um, there will be links to get to the support side, how to contact me. Um, there is a kind of demo video that goes over all of the things that I just did as well. And um, on my website, there is a, um, a newsletter where every, every time I update something um, like adding a new legend or upping the amount of events that show up in month view, um, you'll get an email and then that's it. It's, uh, I'm very, uh, <laughs> I, like I said before, I want to leave people alone. So um, you'll, I'll, I promise I'll only tell you something if something gets updated for a product that you already have or have it expressed interest in. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you got a ton of value out of it. And please, if you are struggling with calendars, go swing by Camille's shop and check out the new apps that she's built. Specifically, her master calendar that she showcased here today is a game changer. So go support Camille so that she can continue to build amazing apps like this that unlock even more potential for all of us non-coders. That's a wrap for this one. We'll see you in the next video. As always, I hope you found that to be extremely helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, swing by our website and see how we can help. We offer a free Airtable crash course that will help you level up in Airtable quickly and we also have some paid services, including hourly consultations with our experts. We have some online courses and a group coaching program. And for advanced needs, we can build a bespoke solution for you from scratch. So swing on by, and I look forward to connecting with you soon.